So the, the voice of the customer activities generated a large database of questions and answers that really became the basis for the specifications on the design. So if a customer said, quality is important, we focused a lot on the quality of the components and the design and our supplier quality. The customer said, uh, as a contractor, they wanted things to be very easy to install and easy to troubleshoot and to service. So we focused with the design teams on making sure that those particulars were really a key point in the design and the manufacturability of the product. What the customer wants, quality, reliability, and performance at a uh, competitive price and cost, that's really what drove the specifications. We made an investment in this uh, all-electric tube benders, and these all-electric tube benders are repeatable and fast-paced and very high-quality tubes, and they're all electric as opposed to being hydraulic machines. So what that really means to the customer is these benders, the bends are so repeatable and the quality is very repeatable, so when it goes to get assembled in a heat exchanger, we have very high quality tubes that will never leak and it's very safe to know that your tubes are always going to be intact in the heat exchanger. We've got heat exchangers that will be stainless steel on the gas side. The engineering manufacturing team figured out a way to make a costly option standard with the processes they use and that allows us to give a lifetime heat exchanger warranty at no additional cost the customer knows that those heat exchangers are going to last the 20 to 30 years that they need to last. So we can accurately create a fixture in tooling. It all fits nice, they're able to braze it up clean, that minimizes leakage and it goes together really well. So far everybody's been really pleased with the fixtures that have come out. Everybody has to run the standard ATRI test, rating test, uh, to sell the product, but we hopefully we take an extra step to give the customer added value through transit tests, shipping tests, make sure that any copper or component failures occur here and we can design those resonances or frequencies out of the product. Uh, also doing rain tests, make sure we don't have any uh, uh, water being drawn into the cabinet. And we're doing uh, sound tests, trying to get the DB of the compressor and the outdoor fan down to a comfortable level. So probably the most significant thing that we've done to improve the quality of our products has been um, we commissioned a halt chamber and the hall chamber allows us to test 24 systems simultaneously um, for what's the equivalent of five years of actual field testing. It allows us to create conditions that we can't necessarily create even on a field test. It runs the systems outside of their normal operating envelope. That systematically improves the reliability which translates into production quality which translates into field quality you know, for the customer. Longer lifetime. So on these projects we've done a lot differently, almost everything differently and it's really exciting. We got to instill a lot of new technology and abilities in the controls uh, while maintaining a low cost solution for our customers which we know is important as well. We were able to combine the blower technology in with the furnace control so that in the dual fuel situation uh, you only need two controls and those controls are connected by one harness um, and then you have a, a very, uh, I guess, obvious landing spot for your thermostat wires. On the demand defrost, we're trying to give the customer added value, more comfort, uh, lower energy bills. We have four curves on the board, allows the uh, technician, the homeowner, probably technician, to determine what's the best defrost cycle for his uh, heat pump, giving maximum performance and comfort. Contractors want to be able to get units installed quickly. They want to service them quickly. That's how they make money. So the customer said, one, you gotta have a good base rail, but it's gotta be easy to remove. Two screws on each corner, it takes about three minutes to remove eight screws and the base rail comes right off. Another is accessibility for the evap coil. And so with this design, you remove two braze joints, remove three screws, and the evaporator coil slides right out of the unit so it's easy to clean. With this design, we got all the serviceability, all the components he needs to access on the front of the unit. It's got the compressor on the left side, the blower motor on the middle part of the, the unit design, and all the controls and, and the electrical components on the right side of the unit. The outdoor fans in the top facing him, it's all right there in the front. He doesn't have to go completely around the unit. What that means for the technician is better serviceability, quicker time on the job, and a com better complete job. I think we've really paid attention to what the customers, being uh, contractors, have wanted 
to develop as far as a product. We really focused on quality, performance, and the uh, overall experience of selling a product, having features that contractors can easily sell to a homeowner, as well as giving the homeowner, that end customer, a better product. Easy to buy, easy on performance, saves the money, but most importantly has the reliability and the quality at a level better than anybody else in the industry. That's really the key.